Hi, first grade, it's Dr. Mutchler with your SEL lesson. I hope your week's gone well. Last week, we were working on problem solving, and specifically, we talked about how we can have fun with our friends, and especially making it fair. Playing fair is fun, and we learn to trade, share, and take turns. Maybe this past week, you use those skills of sharing, trading, or taking turns with someone in your family. I hope it worked out. Well, today we're gonna to continue to talk about problems that can happen with friends. It's pretty common. Today, we're gonna to think about what do we need to do when we wanna join in? Like we wanna play with other kids or we wanna join a game or maybe we wanna be part of something that people are doing. And for whatever reason, we're having a hard time joining in. We're gonna use our problem solving skills, how we can think about going into a situation and joining in respectfully and having fun. What I would like to do is share with you a story called Strictly No Elephants it's about a boy and his pet elephant. Yeah, he has a pet elephant. And he is really having some trouble with a situation where he and his pet elephant are not included in, in something that he really would like to be a part of. Let me tell you this story. Strictly No Elephants, written by Lisa Manchev. Illustrated by Tyone Yu. The trouble with having a tiny elephant for a pet is that you never quite fit in. No one else has an elephant. Every day I take my elephant for a walk. His is a very thoughtful sort of walk. He doesn't like the cracks in the sidewalk much. I always go back and help him over. That's what friends do, lift each other over the cracks. Today I'm walking my tiny elephant to number 17. It's pet club day and everyone will be there. Come along. There's a good boy. I coax him to the last few feet. It'll be fine. When I look up, there's a sign on the door. Strictly no Elephants. My tiny elephant leads me back to the sidewalk, never minding the cracks. That's what friends do. Brave the scary things for you. Did you try to go to the pet club meeting too? The girl asks. Yes, I say, but they don't allow elephants. The sign didn't mention skunks, the girl says, but they don't want us to play with them either. They don't know any better, I tell her. He doesn't stink, the girl adds. No, he doesn't, I agree. What if we start our own club? Come along, I say, making certain that my tiny elephant follows me, because that's what friends do. Never leave anyone behind. We can play here, one of our new friends says. All of us. So we paint our own sign. All are welcome. My tiny elephant will give you directions if you need them. Be 
because that's what friends do. The end. Boys and girls, wasn't it sad how the boy and his little elephant weren't allowed to be part of that pet club? They weren't very respectful to him, were they? But I thought it was really, really nice as he was walking home that he met another person. And that girl, remember, she had the pet skunk. They wouldn't let her be part of that club either. And they were feeling sad and lonely. They had a problem. They wanted to be part of a pet club, but they weren't included. So they started thinking of ideas. And I think they came up with a wonderful idea. Why not start our own pet club? That's perfect. Really, boys and girls, why be part of something if the people aren't being nice? They're not being respectful? That's not fun at all. What the boy and the girl learned, that there were lots of other kids. Did you notice all those on other unusual pets? I saw somebody with a giraffe, somebody with a bat an armadillo, and they must have all felt alone too. And by coming together, they, they created this wonderful pet club where everybody felt included and respected, and that makes for fun. Boys and girls, next time you have a situation where you wanna be part of something, but forever, for whatever reason, you don't feel like you can join into that situation, you know, you can always try your friendly voice and ask, but if for some reason the people you asked aren't being very respectful or there's a reason why you can't join at that time, don't, don't give up. Remember your problem solving skills. Think of other ideas of how you can join in with others and have fun. All right, boys and girls, I look forward to seeing you next week as we continue to work with problem solving. But between now and next time, even though we're not together, I'm here and I think about you every day. So if you have a question or if there's something on your mind, have mom or dad or an adult in your house, give me an email at lmutchler at byron226.org and I will get back to you as quickly as possible. Until then, I'll see you next week. Take care, bye.